Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to format a hard drive using command prompt and I'm also going to show you about disk manager. Now, let's just put this into context. You put in a USB drive or a micro SD into a converter and Windows doesn't recognize it. Now, sometimes people just assume these micro SD cards or even hard drives are absolutely corrupt. Now, to some people, this will be a no-brainer, but I'm also getting comments occasionally where people say in this type of thing. So, I'm going to show you a couple what different methods we can use to actually get the computer Windows 11 in my case to recognize your hard drive or your micro SD card so first of all we're gonna go the easiest possible way of doing this so what I'm gonna do is type into my search bar disk management and we're going to find here, create and format hard disk partitions. If I just open this up, and we're going to find here, just Jamie, this is my micro SD cards. Now, if you've got a USB drive, it's all going to act the same. So we're going to find this just here under removable. So what we can actually do from here is actually format the micro SD card or say USB drive. Just right click on it. And from here, you can find format. We can then use a volume name, so I'm going to keep this as just Jamie. Under file system, I've got a few different options here, so let's just go for NTFS. And allocation unit size, I tend to leave this as default. I'm also going to keep checked, perform a quick format. If I go to OK, and it's going to warn us that everything's going to be deleted, so I'm going to go to OK. Okay, and as we can see, that's now been formatted into the NTFS file system. And again, if I right-click, format, this time I'm going to put it back to FAT32. So if I select FAT32, perform a quick format, just leave this checked. And we're going to go to OK and OK again. And there we go. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to actually use a command prompt, so in other words, a terminal through Windows 11. So this is actually fairly simple. So what we're going to do is just go down to the search bar again. And if I type in CMD, we're going to find command prompt just here. Now, I can go over to run as administrator, or if I right click on command prompt here, I've also got the option to run as administrator. If I left click... Okay, and this is what we're going to find. So what we're going to do firstly is type in disk part. And if I press enter, next up we're going to type in list disk. And again, we're going to press enter on this. And here we go. So this is both of my drives on my computer. And disk one is my micro SD card that I've just actually formatted. Now, I need to tell disk part which disk it is I want to work on. So I'm going to type in select disk. And I'm going to follow this by number one. This is disk one. This is my micro SD card. If I press enter... And as we can see, it says disk one is now the selected disk. So the program now knows what it's working with. Okay, next thing we're going to do is type in clean. And all of this needs to be in lowercase. And once that's been typed, I can now press enter. And what this is going to do is literally clean up the micro SD card. Okay, next thing we're going to do then is actually work on formatting the micro SD card using the commands prompt. So this time I'm going to type in create partition primary if I then press enter and after pressing enter it will say disk parts seeded in creating a specified partition okay so we're now going to format it so we're going to type in format space fs equals now I'm actually going to type in NTFS, but if you want to format this to FAT32, then you can type in FAT32 or even XFAT. But I'm going to use this program to format it in uh, NTFS. And if I then press enter, we're now going to see a percentage, and this is going to tell you how long this is going to take. Now, admittedly, at times using this part through command prompt does take a little bit of time. <laughs> Okay, next thing we need to do then, once that's been done, is just type in a sign. And if I press enter. Okay, once you've typed in a sign and press enter, what we're going to do is take a look 
for our new micro SD card and here we go we can now see USB drive so once your computer can recognize your SD card or your USB hard drive or whatever it is you've just formatted we can then begin to use it normally within Windows so if I right click on it go to format we can then select the file system and let's just format this one back to FAT32 and also give it a volume name and if I then go to start and OK and there we go it's now been formatted to just Jamie. So if you've got a micro SD card or a USB drive or a hard drive or whatever and Windows doesn't detect it, just take a look at those two examples I've done today and guaranteed 95% of the time by using either of these methods, Windows will then register your hard drive or your micro SD cards correctly again. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too and let me just say if you're looking for any other useful little videos like this one check out my comment section and it will link you straight to my information help guys playlist anyways until next time stay retro